Good morning. I'm always checking out my puffy face. Puffy face. Good morning, good morning. Um, let me recenter. Oh, there we go. Ah, symmetry. Namaste, people. Oh, I just realized I forgot to up the, uh, <laughs> the font size on the comments so I can actually see them with my old eyes here. Good morning, good morning. Uh, good morning, Erin and Fiery in advance 1215. Good morning. I'm drinking my extra big cup of tea. And I love that I am outside. Cat Mama, see? I told you. I told you I'd be here. See? Some folks know. Some folks know when they sit and spin. Some kids go when they sit and spin. Mmm. So... It's nice out this morning where I am. If you don't know what the weather's like where you are, maybe even, you can look outside, but until you open the door, you don't know what the temperature is, you don't wanna know what the, um, what the humidity is. And we were away this week, but it has been raining all week, and I just feel like the humidity has dropped at least a bunch of percentages, and it feels nice out. So I said, carpe diem, I'm going outside. I'm gonna do my TikTok live from outside. And then even after that, we should probably open up the windows and get some fresh air in the house. Um, so good morning, Dana, and good, ma <laughs> good morning, Wendy Rose. Good morning, fam. Yeah, why not? We're just a, you know what I was thinking about is I often, I'm a casual person, trust me, I'm a casual person. So I often show up to these TikTok lives as if like I was, we were hanging out, you know, um, you know, just having coffee on the porch. I've got my, my robe on and my, my pajamas and I hope you're equally as comfortable because when you feel better, you do better. Um, I don't like things being overly formal or uptight. I like things loose and casual, yet with some structure, kind of like a caftan. <laughs> There's enough to structure to keep it on your bod. Um, but um, I, if we haven't met before, I always forget this early on. Um, I know people are kind of, I always think like filtering in, just knowing that I'm having a TikTok. Um, good morning. So my name is Beth. I am a decluttering life coach. So um, I'm out here on my patio having a cup of tea on a beautiful Saturday morning in Pennsylvania. And um, I'm here to help you. I show up. We could chat. Trust me. We could just do some chit chat about, you know, pop culture or whatever we're, you know, what, what, we, what mutual interests we might have. But the cool thing is, is is knowing even just the name of my coaching, Destination Decluttered, you know that if you hang out with me, we're probably gonna talk about clutter. Now, that doesn't mean it can't be fun or interesting or, or whatever, but um, I am showing up in your life because you may be struggling with clutter. Uh, maybe you scrolled past and you're like, hey, what's, what's this all about? So this is what I do. I show up and do these ticks. Oh, there you go. Kate, Kat is saying, yay, time to tidy. Time for timer. Yeah. So I show up, I usually do a TikTok live for about an hour. I usually start them at the top of the hour. Notice my use of usually, not always. Always is very all or nothing, because then as soon as you say do something always, but then you don't do it, you break it. So I usually show up at the top of the hour and do a TikTok live for an hour. And during that time, a couple things may happen. You may, um, now I feel like, hey, 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 it's Fat Albert. Um, you may learn something before it's done. Um, if you have a question about clutter, I can I can do my best to give you help you with that, to glean some insight um, from my coaching, from my experience as, as a cluttered person for decades. Um, I love it. T site is about to bring a box to the dumpster. Um, Wendy Rose, yeah, there we go. Opened all the windows in New England in your jammies and robe with your Java. So yeah, grab your beverage of choice if you if you care to. Even if you don't, drinking water in the morning is good. So get some water. And some people, when I do these TikTok lives, because they know it, they listen to me. You don't need to see what I'm doing. The background will not change. It's still just going to be me. You don't need to watch this TikTok live. What I encourage you to do, frankly, is to put it somewhere where you can hear me, however you do that technology-wise, and do what I like to call sometimes a putter and declutter. Kind of flutter around, and you could do some decluttering of the surface area stuff. So when I talk about clutter, I talk about three levels of clutter, three layers, surface, stored, and sentimental. Now the stored clutter and the sentimental clutter are things you're gonna need to listen to yourself. Listen to your heart. Oh, that sounded awful, heart. <laughs> it's like, it was like a deflating, <laughs> it was 
like a deflating, um, not even balloon, like a deflating tire. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. So, um, feel free to just listen to me. Do not judge my, 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 <laughs> my singing. I am judging myself enough, but I laugh about it. I can laugh about it now, but the time it was terrible. Well, mama, let me go. Um, putter and declutter. Maybe fold some laundry while I'm doing this. Put some dishes in the sink. Put the dishes from the sink into the washing machine. Do you know? Do, do something, the kind of mindless decluttering that you can also just do while you're listening as if this were a podcast. Okay? So, um, or just, you know, scroll. Lay in bed and scroll. You do you. But I just want to offer, what you see on the screen for the next 50 plus minutes is not going to change. I may do some gesticulations, like my hand going from high to low, putting my hand on my heart, this is a big one, putting my hand to the side, fear is on one side, love is on the other side, on the other hand, that type of thing. Um, but make this time useful for you on a couple levels and trust your judgment that whatever you do is fine, okay? So I love this for packing for birthday today. Well, cat, happy birthday at a resort before a conference. Now you said a couple of things I like and one of the ones, birthday, dig it. Resort, dig it. Packing to go to a resort. I love it. Conferences. I use conferences just as an excuse to travel. I do. But congratulations. Enjoy. I love it. Measured Macros says, just moved three bags from my closet downstairs. The next stop is donation. Yeah, now this is an interesting thing about doing a TikTok live on the, um, on the, uh, on the, excuse me, the weekend. Um, is that it's a different thing from um, from the Monday through Friday. So you may have some decluttering plans today being a weekend. So let me help you with that. Now, Laura is saying, oh, I love it. Somebody's going directly to the beach. Tea site, yes, all about the beach. Abbott Elementary, just saw you. Um, Laura's struggling. Okay, hon, let me help you with this. Started but stalled. Okay. In pain, it interferes. <sighs> This is what I will say to you. This is what I say to you, Laura and anybody else. If you don't feel good, you're not going to do good. So what I, what I mean by that is screw the, screw the decluttering. Don't do that first. Don't beat yourself up about not decluttering. Do things to make yourself feel better. Do things to make yourself feel good, whatever they are. Now, I don't know your situation. I know my situation. And so I have a list. I literally, if I was at my desk, I would show you like these books that I have pretty much written to myself, kind of journals and not even journals, not like Dear Diary. I have such a crush on Sean Cassidy. Um, it's more like, you know, this is what I did today. This is, and I wrote myself a list of when I'm not feeling good, here's some things that I should be checking. So you probably know what to do to make yourself feel better, Laura. Take yourself off the hook from decluttering and make yourself feel better. But that doesn't mean, too, that doesn't mean, too, that you can't do some decluttering. Now, again, I want you to be the judge. Of, I want you to be the boss of that. Um, I can suggest stuff, but you know you better than I do. And trust yourself that you're doing the right thing. I will confess that yesterday I had a busy day. I, I, have, I am frequently traveling, which I love, but I often forget to to also schedule a recovery day. And so yesterday I kind of jumped right back into coaching and consultations and um, doing things and I didn't allow myself time to recover. So last night I farted around for hours. I just laid down and rested because I felt tired and I thought I was getting cold. So do things, everybody, before you do anything, make sure you're feeling, you don't have to feel great, you don't have to feel perfect, but feeling better. If there's something, if you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it, you know? If you got a headache, if you feel like you need to poop, um, if your bra is bunching up on you, if you um, you know get an itchy ear, whatever it is, do something to make yourself even just ten percent feeling better. Okay, so give yourself some nubbins, treat yourself better, and when you feel better, you're gonna do better. Okay. So, Wendy Rose is saying, since listening to you here, I daily declutter. Awesome. I keep three boxes, garbage, keep, and donate and sell. Wonderful. I am all about categories. Categories. Name of. Categories of stuff in my house. You know? Now, Charlie Horse is downsizing from home 
to motorhome. So much to do. What is it? Oh, I should I should remember this. If if you know, Lorem Ibsen, if quid pro quo, so little time, so much to know. <laughs> I um I'll have to get my my Beatles quotes in, or at least my uh, Yellow Submarine quotes in my head. But notice you have this is kind of fun, Charlie Horse. You have a point A home. Point B, you have a point B. This is why I call my de my coaching destination decluttered because when you have a destination, and it doesn't mean to be like, oh, I'm only moving my house or I'm moving, but when you have a mental picture in your head and in your heart of what you want your home to look like, what you want your life to look at, now you have something to focus on. Now you have something to aim for. And now you can decide, will this fit in my motor home? Will it not? Will it weigh down my motor home? Now that's a really interesting thing too. Many of us don't live in houses that are that need to have a weight limit. Do I keep all this stuff? You know, do I need all this stuff to actually live? You know, that's a really interesting thing. Look at the stuff you use every day. A mug, a toothbrush, a pair of socks. Think of all the stuff that you store that you don't use on the daily. And notice the frequency of things you use it. Yeah. Um, good morning. Oh, you know what? German made. German made is saying, uh, good morning. TikTok is slacking on notifying when you're on. Okay, so here's the thing. I am a fan of the technology and all the wonders it brings. All of us would not be doing what we're doing if it weren't for technology. But I don't necessarily, I, I don't expect it to do. I, I'm always delighted when it does what it does. But German made, I'm assuming you're on the destination decluttered, um, oh, the sun's getting in my eyes, uh, the destination decluttered mailing list. If you're on the mailing list, and if you're not and you want to get on it, destinationdecluttered.com, scroll down to the bottom, email, prove you're not a robot, you're done. Um, I have begun to post and share the TikTok Live schedule on a page that people know how to get to when you are um, on the mailing list. So if you're ever curious about when I'm showing up, um, that schedule is posted for the next until the next Friday or so. I will send out an email about it, I promise, but as I said last night, I was just down for the count. I was struggling with um, a little bit of jet lag and just kind of feeling tired. So I will get an email out today. But just so you know, there's a place you can always go to find out when I'm doing my TikTok lives. I used to post them here. I used to post the schedule here on TikTok. And then I realized, wait a minute, I want to give some good stuff to the people who are on my mailing list. And one of the things I can do is I can give them, as I say, like the sneak peek, the first dibs. Okay. So if you're okay. So, so you know where, you know where I'm talking about, right? Let me see if I can back this. Back it up back it up so the sun's not in my eyes. I love the sun that's getting out. Do not get me wrong. But notice how things change. Whoa. No, we're not having a uh, an earthquake. That was a funny thing. There was an earthquake when we were in California. I didn't hear it. All right. Um, thank you for the human contribution of making an email schedule. Hey, you know what, Anne? Two, 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 Marie. I am so human. I'm only human. Flesh and blood made. I am only human. Yeah, I... I appreciate technology, but in this era of technology, I so much more appreciate an actual human contact. I hate it when I get emails from things I've signed up for and they seem like they were written by robots or they are scheduled at a certain time. I like things to be organic in that way. Maybe that's in a way I'm a, I'm a hippie that way. I like organic. I like organic human connection. I like it when it's genuine and sincere. So I only, I do not have a schedule that I send my emails out to. I send emails out when I have something good to share and only when I have something good to share. Um, I will send one out today probably because I'm going to remind people of when the TikTok lives are for this week and who knows, maybe the next week because we won't be traveling. Next week we have the TikTok live or excuse me, the, the Zoom call for the people on the mailing list. I'll remind you of that and I don't know, I'll figure out some other fun stuff. Okay. So... Yeah, um, backing up to what people were saying. Um, let me get back here. So, um, there we go. Okay, Jess in LA. I was just in LA a couple of days ago. Um, so you're up wicked early. Good for you. Gonna play your live while I declutter my car. Yeah, another kind of quick thing. Uh, these TikTok lives, if you can't hang around for the whole thing, or you're like, oh, this is interesting, but I'm doing something. All of my TikTok lives are recorded. Um, and then I, they are uploaded to YouTube. And again, people on the mailing list know how to get the most recent ones first. Um, but if not, there are hundreds, literally hundreds of them, which is crazy to think that I've been talking into my phone for well over a year now and creating this stuff to help you. Um, 
but let's get to the good stuff. I love it. CG Rach is been working through the kitchen, organizing and decluttering. Rock on. No, Tammy, fearful of regrets of getting rid of some things, yet I haven't used them. Okay. Let me help you with this. And this is so funny because I'm like, I need a, I need a sip of tea. And also I need my two hands because I want to share this with you, Tammy. This is one of the times where I would suggest if anybody, if you, you know what I'm going to say, if you've heard me anytime, notice where your thoughts are coming from. Okay. And notice what I call kind of what, what category are they under category? Is your thought coming from a place of love or is it coming from a place of fear? Now you said, I'm fearful. I'm fearful, so you know that it's fearful. And what I wanna, wanna suggest to you is, this is what I call your backseat driver. Anytime, and notice I'm doing like a little, it's like a little kid in the backseat. Don't do that. Don't, I'm afraid that if you do that, we're not gonna have that thing. Notice when you are coming from that side of fear, that, that voice of fear, that feeling of fear, the thought, the feeling, you're more likely to be hanging on to stuff. Even though part of you is noticing that there's a category of stuff that if you didn't have that fear, you could let it go. You could let go of it. You're saying, I'm, I'm, I, I'm fearful of regretting stuff that I've yet to use. Some things, yet I haven't used them. Okay. Think of those things you haven't used. And again, that is a category. But within each one of those, there may be a reason why you haven't used it. Now, maybe you just haven't used it yet. Or maybe you just decided you don't want to make Belgian waffles. Whatever it is, the thing. This is the kind of decluttering that you cannot do while I'm talking with you. This is when, if we were coaching, I would pause. I would ask you the question. You would ask you the question. What is this thing? Do I want it or not? Do I want to use it or not? And then you listen to your heart as... Not Ace of Base, Roxette, somebody like that said, listen to your heart. And you decide what you keep and what you let go of. And even if you haven't used it, that's okay. You can, to be very clear here, people, you are allowed to remove anything and everything out of your life that you don't want anymore. That you maybe never wanted, you may have wanted it at a time and now you don't want it, or you didn't want it at the time and you still don't want it. It can be new, it can be old, it can be unused it can be used it can have a it can be it can have the stickers still on it you could have worn it five times none of that stuff really matters when you're donating except if it's crappy and then you sh it just should go in the garbage but notice the stories you have in your head their words because they can come out of your mouth if you want to tell me the story it goes from your head to here but these words and stories make you feel something about your stuff and if you're in fear, you're probably going to hang on to it. On the other hand, on the other hand, if you're in luck, you're like, you know what? I don't want to feel crappy about this stuff anymore. I want to feel better. I want to let it go. That's a little bit more of a hopeful thought, a little bit more like, you know what? I love myself enough to know that I don't want this stuff and I'm going to let it go. When you come from the side, on the other hand, if you come from a loving place in your head, when you're talking to yourself kindly, when you're feeling better, you're more likely to release the stuff you don't want. This is what I call your co-pilot voice because I'm always talking about stuff like a, like a road trip. Backseat drivers are scared. Your co-pilot is next to you. They just want to help you get to wherever you want to go to and you, my dear, are the driver. Okay, notice. Yeah, okay. So hopefully that will help you. All right, boops. Here we go. Roxette. All right. There we go. Bonnie Tyler close. No, that was totally clips. Total eclipse of the heart. Oh. Yeah. Um, the morning lives motivate me to de start decluttering during the day. Wonderful me and my Shih Tzu twins. I love that. Um, oh, it could be hard. Yeah, could be hard. Nope. You're right. Roxette. <laughs> okay. So the waving fern. I don't know your story. But I think it's interesting. It's overwhelming. Overwhelm is one of the overwhelm and um, overwhelm clothes and paperwork. That's a great band. Overwhelm clothes and paperwork. Um, they are the top three things that I that I help people with or that, that come up on these TikTok lives. And what I want to notice, what I want to help everybody with overwhelm wise, is the fact that so funny. I was so excited that the sun is out. 
Sorry, I'm totally digressing on myself, but then I realized the sun's getting in my eyes. Um, overwhelm. Overwhelm is a feeling caused by a thought, a feeling in your heart caused by a thought. Think about this. When you feel overwhelmed, how do you feel? What are words you could describe the overwhelm? What I think of is whenever I think of overwhelm, I realize that it has the word over on it. So I think I'm looking up, I'm in up over my head. I'm looking at it too big. Instead of looking at a little map of how to get from point A to point B, I'm looking at a globe. I'm looking at it too big, okay? Notice the big feeling, the overwhelm, the feeling of I'm gonna do, that whatever I'm gonna do is not making a difference to this big thing. Overwhelm robs you of your power. Overwhelm makes you feel like you can't do something or even if you do something, it's not worth it because you're not gonna make a difference. Notice those unhelpful, crappy feelings. What I want to help you with, does it, no, it's on my other mug. I write mug, I made mugs to remind myself of some of this good stuff. I want to help you with this tool. Okay, this is a tool for my coaching toolkit. Whenever you feel overwhelmed, you're going to think of the word over, and I want you to think of the opposite. I want you to think of down. Okay, grace, too much, I have, I have to quit. Too much, too much, must, must, too much. I want you to think of the word down. Anytime you're feeling overwhelmed, you want to say, aha, instead of being overwhelmed, I want to think of down. I want you to sit down. I want you to breathe down. I want you to slow down, quiet down, calm down. Maybe move your body so that you are kind of making a down motion, kind of like you would pet somebody to calm them down, to pet, pet a dog whose you know, hackles are up or a kid who's overwhelmed with the enormity of life. Shh, quiet down. Use the word down, okay? It's, it's a wicked easy, wicked easy like shortcut to remind you of all the things you can do to feel better and what this does is this calms down your nervous system this quiets down the voice in your head it's okay quiet down settle down and start with your nervous system and your body first the breathing the quiet the calming down maybe even the looking down the settling down there's so many downs you can think of experiment with them when you start to feel better, when it's a little bit quieter in your head, you've quieted down the chatter in your head, when you've calmed down, then what you can do is you can also use two other downs that I freaking love, two other downs. One is to write it down. The other one is to chunk it down. Now, I don't care what order those go in, but I say this, instead of looking at the big picture and being overwhelmed, look down, focus down, chunk down, what am I gonna do today? What's a little bit that I can do just to get myself started, okay? Notice when you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling too much, I have to quit. It's like being on a road trip, okay? Road trip. I'm in Pennsylvania, I'm driving to Palm Springs, oh my God, so many states to go through. Unless you really want to get there, you may give up and you may stop. Or you can just say, okay, I don't know, I, I'm just going to drive as much as I can today. So if, before I, you know, get tired, I'm going to pull over, I'm going to sleep, going to get up the next day and lather, rinse, repeat until I get there. And I'm also going to enjoy this drive. Okay? So please notice this stuff. All right? And hey, M Garden, viewing from Thailand, awesome. We are international now. When everybody, this works in so many other areas of your life. When you're feeling overwhelmed, when it's too much, too much is this feeling of clutter. It's not just a just right feeling. <sighs> then you can chunk it down. You can say, you can chunk it down by time. I'm gonna set my timer and go through clutter in 20 minutes. I am going to chunk it down by room. I'm gonna only work in this room for a certain amount of time. I could chunk it down by category. I'm only gonna work on clothes today. I'm gonna chunk it down by you know, what, whatever the heck I feel like decluttering, all of it is going to make a positive difference. And then congratulate yourself on whatever you do, no matter how small. Okay. So this is a wonderful thing. Not just waving fern. Notice your body. Notice when you feel better. Drink some water. Take an Excedrin. Put on some comfy clothes. Put on some music or have some quiet. 
put on some earbuds, open the windows, shut the windows, turn up the air conditioning, turn down the air conditioning, whatever, whatever makes you feel better in your body and in your brain and in your heart. You got to start here. Everything else radiates out from here, your energy, how you're doing stuff, why you're doing it, the feeling you have as you're going through the process. Do not deny it, you know? All right, do not deny the importance of this. All right, um, Kathy Wright Dodge says, if you've already gotten to shutdown, ooh, I never thought of shutdown. I'll have to remember that one, okay? How do you get back out of it? All right, think about this. This is, when I get lost, okay, I will help you guys. This is what I always say to myself when I'm like, hmm, how would I do this? My brain always goes to, again, so I wanna share this with you. Think about these things in terms of, first of all, this is why I'm a decluttering life coach. I talk about this stuff in kind of a holistic kind of irks me. I feel like ugh. I talk about the whole of it, the whole of the moon, okay? I talk about all of y'all is starting with your, your, your body, your human body, the electricity, your nervous system running through that body. And then I like to use the analogy of what would I do if I was in my car, okay? So you're in your car and your car has shut down. Now, is it because you just turned the key and parked it? and you're good for the evening? Or is it, why is your car stopped? Is it because you've run out of gas? Okay, I am in shutdown. Find out the reason you're in shutdown. Not judging, just get curious. Why am I feeling shut down? And then that's what you can start with. That's what you can work on. Are you physically tired? If you are, you're human. You run out of gas. My car in the, in the driveway right here runs out of gas. If I don't monitor my energy level, I see a gauge in my car, knowing when I'm waning in my, I can only go so much further and then I'm going to be empty. If I happen to run out of gas because I wasn't paying attention, I will then need to refill my tank. Okay. Um, am I, am I shut down because my battery is dead? I just don't have it in me to move forward. Maybe you need a jump start. Maybe this TikTok live is a little kind of pick me up, a little pep, you know, a little pep in your step type of thing that can ignite that spark. Notice all these things that happen in your car too. You need a spark to turn on, to, to, to ignite the spark. You turn the key to ignite the spark. Maybe you don't have the spark in you. You're like, why am I even freaking doing this? Does it even matter? I say, yes, it does. Okay. I say, yes, it matters because you matter. You deserve to feel good. Before you're dead, you want to feel good, don't you? I do. I do. And I am doing it, feeling good. Do the things to make yourself feel better. If you need to rest, rest. If you need to take a break, take a break. If you need to hydrate, hydrate. If you need to eat something, eat some food. Find out what your needs are and make yourself feel better. Okay, and take care of yourself. Look at so many of us are caretakers. Caretaking takes stuff away from you. You need to replenish your resources and not so you can go take care of people again. You can do that if you want to, but take care of yourself first. First, it is not greedy. It is not selfish. It is required. In order to help other people, if you want to help other people, you don't have to help other people. You have to take care of yourself first. In order to take care of yourself, you need to take care of yourself first, okay? So I feel like I kind of ran into a dead end with that, but you get what I'm saying, hopefully. And if you don't, ask a follow-up question for what I missed, all right? But I like to think of things in terms of being in a car. Okay, so Kathy Wright Dodge, notice I hit a little boop. You deserve to feel better, maybe tear up a little too fast, yeah. You know what, that's your body. Notice your body will respond quicker than words. Your body is responding to something. Honor that. Just pay attention to it. And you do. You do deserve to feel better. Here, I'm giving a little pet on the head. I'm giving you a little virtual hug. Everybody, we all deserve to feel better. But we can't make other people feel better. And other people can't make us feel better. We have to. It's an inside job. Okay? Yes. Um, okay. Um, thank you. I always feel guilty when I when I do. Okay, guilt. Guilt is a is on this side of fear and judgment and guilt and shame. These are unhelpful 
I say unhelpful, not negative, not bad. These are feelings that stop you from doing what you want and, and keep you doing what other people want. Okay? Um, now, Gray Skull says, and it was curious because somebody, I, I, I forget names wicked quick because they scroll by me so fast. But when you get overwhelmed with dealing with your husband's clutter, now I don't know if your husband's alive or dead, or, you know, when somebody else is involved, it overwhelms me. They push. No downs with them. Okay, Gray Skull, note that about yourself. Everybody. We all move at different paces. Have you ever driven on the road? Not every car drives at the same speed. Every car on the road is driven at a space that feels comfortable for the driver. Some people are in the slow lane. Some people are, I'm driving the speed limit, driving 55. Maybe they've got cruise control on. Other people are flying crazy 95 miles an hour down the fast lane. Notice that you may move at a pace that is different from other people. That is totally okay. So if you know when someone else is involved and it's overwhelming, don't get somebody else involved until a certain part of the process. Do it yourself and move at a pace that feels good to you. Again, you pay attention to what makes you feel better. I feel better when I'm driving 35 on this road as opposed to 70. When I drive 70 in the road that I'm supposed to drive 35 on, my nervous system gets anxious. I'm afraid I'm going to die. Again, to me, it all comes back to, and trust me, like I am, I will say this right out loud. I, in my past, have been a snarky, resistant, judgy New Englander who's like, life coaching, what the hell is that? You need a coach to help you live? Oh my God. And the answer is yes, I did. And I do. Until you start to, you, you can snark all you want. I did it myself. I've resisted coaching and therapy and all those things for years. And I did pretty well on my own. I will share with you that I did pretty well with what I did. But man, there was a percentage of my life where it just wasn't doing it for me. And I had to get some external help. Now I say this because I would not be firmly in the camp of listening to your heart and listening to your thoughts and acting accordingly if I did not know damn well how much it worked. Okay? Now New England rocks. Don't get me right. Like Trust me. Laura Jane and Kate. Kate I am a New Englander. You're going to hear it in my voice, my food choices, and I can still bet that way. But gosh, great gosh almighty, did me being resistant to change and open to different things just delay me living a life that I fully and wholly love now. Instead, I was at like 65%. Now I'm at like 98% because, you know, nothing's perfect. But when you start to say, it's okay for me to listen to myself and do what I want, all right, my New England people, there we go. Massachusetts right here, inside of 120, just outside of 128. That's where I grew up. That's where my family is. You are allowed to change. You are allowed to move out of state. You are allowed to change your mind. You are allowed to do different things. I give you permission. There we go, Mass, Maine. There we go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, Cat Mama, you're doing good stuff now though too, huh? You did good stuff. There's a excuse me. You guys see me doing this? There's a mosquito. Central Mass, there we go. The 508. So funny. I haven't lived in Mass in shit almost 24 years. It's crazy. Time flies. But I offer this to say I used to be one way and now I'm another, and that's okay. And what I've done is I've strategically I tried things to see what worked, what didn't. I tried trial and error. All right. So maybe maybe you hear like the halcyon, the, the mellifluous tones of when I say packing garage, you know, or I got to get a lobster roll or, you know, whatever it comes out. It comes out in the weirdest ways. My Boston accent. Um, it is OK to change. It is OK to like stuff. I'm going to try to wrap it back into to, to clutter. It is OK to have purchased an item in the past and not want it today. It is okay to have stuff in your house that you used to like that you don't like anymore, okay? 
Yeah, that's true. When I say wicked, I don't even notice that. That is so ingrained in me. I will never ungrain it. You know? I love it. Tam Tam Tamara, ta ta Tam I can't even pronounce it. Moving again and know where every paperclip is. Yes. Noticing where things are. Notice why you can, why do you want to even declutter? That's always a fun thing. Why do I want to declutter? This is your destination. Saying, what do I want my home to look like? Now, here's a funny thing. You can't really see it from the back here, but my house is white stucco, our house. I live here with my husband. Our house is white stucco. It's got a red tile roof. It looks like it belongs in Southern California. I know this because I was in Southern California two days ago. I've known it for years. I always knew growing up in Massachusetts that I did not want to have a standard center entrance colonial or a trip, you know, a triple decker in Dorchester, or I did not, the, the visual appeal of, of New England, I could have, I, on an intellectual level, I could appreciate it, but I knew it wasn't me. And when I used to deny, no, that's okay, I always wanted to live in a funky house. I now live in a funky house. I always thought it would be cool to marry, be married to somebody creative and awesome. I'm married to somebody creative and awesome. I also wanted to be somebody creative and awesome. I now am. Knowing what you want helps you aim for it. Okay. When you have a destination. So saying to yourself, I got to declutter before you even start. It's like a road trip. Where am I headed? I'm heading to destination decluttered. Why do I want to get there? Do I want to enjoy the journey? Yeah, I want to enjoy it. You know? All right. See, this, these things happen. Yeah. My folks gave me, give me all their old furniture. Now I have to get rid of it. Yeah. Talk about the legacy. You know, this is the thing. I'm Gen X. I just turned 58 a couple of days ago. We are the sandwich generation. I still think I'm like 20, 30 years younger than I am. Inside I am, but my body tells a different story. We have the generations ahead of us. It would, we have parents, niece, aunts, people we know ahead of us that have not dealt with their own stuff. Don't want to deal with their own stuff. Can't deal with it. We are the game changers. We are the people that are turning the wheel and driving in a different direction for ourselves and also for dealing with the stuff that's coming up and also making sure that we don't leave a mess for the next generations, okay? So do the thing that feels good to you. I know this because I, would, I don't want any of the furniture in my mother's house and I've told her as much in a loving way and she knows this. She's, my mother's known me all my life. I have never wanted a traditional kind of New England household. It's not my jam. So I have very few pieces of furniture from my family because they don't fit into my mid-century modern, you know, funky house. That doesn't mean I don't love my family because I don't want somebody's old sofa, okay? So you are allowed to be who you want to be, regardless of what anybody else says. And you know who anybody else says? That's your backseat driver is saying, no, you can't do that. You have to do this. And I say, quiet them down. They're going to be in your head all your life, so just quiet them down. They'll peep up. The more you quiet them down, and then you listen to your co-pilot, who's saying, you know what? You can do whatever you want. You can move out of state. You can live in a hacienda. You can go to Los Angeles. You can show up in your bathrobe on the internet with no makeup. I do need chapstick, though. You can quiet them down and then listen to your heart. Now, I like to think that when I show up and do these TikTok lives, as I do, and if we haven't met before, my name is Beth. I'm a decluttering life coach. I help people declutter. I, I work. I do big coaching on Zoom. I try to inevitably always show up in that energy of your co-pilot. You're the driver. You're steering wherever you want to go. You're, you're, you're the one in control. You have all the controls around you but you're influenced by the voices in your head, the stories you tell yourself that make you feel a feeling. When I sit there next to you and I'm in the driver, I am in the passenger seat, I'm like, all right, it's a beautiful Saturday. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Oh, you want the kitchen to be clean? Cool, let's do it. Oh, you want to, you're sick of those clothes? Yeah, let's go. Let's pick out some clothes you don't want. Let's go to the Goodwill. That, that sounds like fun. Sounds fun to me. When you think of it as fun, when you realize that after you do those things, you're like, ooh, now anytime I grab clothes on my, my laundry, I know that it's going to fit and look good. When you realize what's in it for you, you're more likely to move forward with it. Okay? 
So that's, that's, I try to show up in that. And this is why I show up again on my Saturday morning, you know, all right. Completely renovating the kitchen says Terry. I have a chance to get it right this time. Waiting on the cabinets. Yes. Here's a funny thing. The cabinets doesn't matter what they look like. What matters is what you put in them and what you don't decide what goes into that Barbie dream house of a kitchen. You choose what goes in your house, what you choose, what doesn't go in your house. Now, renovations give you that kind of clean slate, but you don't need to have a clean slate. You can create your own clean slate. You can decide what you want and keep it. You can decide what you don't want and let it go. Decision-making is decluttering. De Decision-making, decluttering, okay? There we go, Kathy Wright Dodge, write that down for yourself, that's a good one. Kathy says, I want a free space in house and mind to do my art without the guilt of the house being a huge mess. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack there, but I like packing and unpacking. <laughs> now I'm thinking of the WKRP in Cincinnati um, theme song. But notice that, free space, space to make yourself feel free. Not just in your house, this is why I'm a life coach, not just in your house, but in your mind too. I wanna do my art without guilt. I wanna do my art and also not have my house being a huge mess. I remember saying one of the things that was important to me was having a space for my creativity and not have to clean it up off of the kitchen table all the time. Because I grew up in a house that didn't, like we had a lot of space, but it was filled with stuff. Notice that's what you want and then say, okay, that's what I want. How can I start to get that right now? Okay. How can I start to get that? Yeah, Soaring Butterfly says, feel the same. <laughs> you are brilliant and oh so funny. Eh, I'm just me, but thanks. Yeah, you know. Um, I'm just backing up a little bit here. Okay, and I see a lot of people taking care of their parents. We are such good kids, aren't we? Taking care of our parents. I'm kind of taking care of my mom right now in certain ways. Um, we're good like that, but take care of yourself at the same time, okay? Do not run yourself in the ground. There's nothing noble about running yourself into the ground while helping other people. No, I don't buy it. I call, I call no on that. You need to fill your own tank before you even help anybody else. You don't have to wait till you're perfect, but you cannot, you can't give what you don't have. You cannot drive your car when your gas tank is empty. Okay. All right. I love it. That's why shopping at thrift is so good. Cleaning out parents' house and goes to thrift. Trust me, this whole house is practically, if it weren't for Ikea, everything in this house would be um, from a thrift store. But then Ikea is nice for those like functional things like shelves and stuff. You know, so notice what you want. Okay. I love it. One in, one out says Faith. And Mary is asking, um, what is your advice on someone who has ADHD and has a hard time making decisions? Okay, here's what I say to you. Practice. Practice. Practice makes better. Practice makes perfect sounds better, but practice makes better is... Practice builds your muscle. Decision-making people of every brain type. Decision-making is a muscle. The more you make decisions, the better at it you get. It's like I'm going to a weight a weightlifting class. It sounds like I'm going to a strength training class after this TikTok is live. I was saying, I don't know why I did it. I know I did. I need to do it. But what I will say is when I go to that weight training class, I haven't been to one in forever. I have the fear of hurting myself if I start too aggressively. So I'm going to start small and light, and I'm going to congratulate myself on everything I do. ADHD person, I say the same thing. Make decisions. Practice Focusing and making decisions that feel right to you. Practice noticing the fear that creeps up. Well, what if I want to use that someday? Well, what if, what if, what if, chip, chip? Notice those things. Practice making decisions and not just moving things from place to place. Practice listening to yourself long enough to finish a sentence. And making a decision that feels good to you. The small decisions are just as important as the big decisions. And big decisions are really just a bunch of little decisions, okay? So the more you practice it, the better it gets. I know that I, if I show up once a week for a weight training class, that by the end of four weeks, I will be stronger at it than I was at the beginning. It's the same thing with, um, it's the same thing with decision-making. 
and make decisions that feel good to you, but don't listen to what anybody else says. If you want to keep that stuff because you want to be crafty, fine, keep the stuff, but also be crafty. Take the time to be crafty, okay? Notice this stuff. Um, all right, uh, Ruth is saying, I know I want this stuff gone. Good, get rid of it. And I want to have my apartment back, all right? Taken back, take back your apartment from wherever it is. Create the life you want, create the apartment you want, you know? There we go. I love it, Soaring Butterfly is saying, giving caregiving stuff to the Salvation Army feels so freeing. Notice the freedom. This is the thing, this is the only reason, I swear to God, swear to God, Johnny, the only reason I show up to do this stuff is because every time I talk about decluttering, I hear it in your voice. I can hear your voice. I can feel the energy when you're writing something. It says, I'm weighed down with clutter, kind of slumped over and heavy and weighed down and stuck in the mud on the side of the road. But then when I hear from people who have decluttered, no matter how big, how small, they say, oh, I feel so much better. They're sitting up straighter. They are breathing lighter. They are, they are moving forward. They are feeling better. If you're slumped over and heavy with clutter, you can feel better. You can do something, you know? Yeah, Ruth, notice when you say, oh, so much clutter, that's total overwhelm. Quiet down the overwhelm. If you missed it at the beginning of this TikTok Live, when this is recorded, or pretty much, you can just, I do a bunch of stuff about overwhelm. It's the same thing. Quiet down the overwhelming words run interference on them. It's not that much. I'm just going to do 15 minutes. It's only 15 minutes. You can get started. Okay. Yeah. And you have to get started enough to say, when you start to see a difference, it's easy to keep going with it. Okay. When you start to see a difference, you will never see a difference unless you start. And then once you see a difference, you'll keep on going. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Um, whatever you tell yourself, if it helps you do the things, but notice I'm ADHD and I tell myself I'm selfish for not giving stuff I'm using away. Makes it easier for me. Okay. If that, if that line of speaking and feeling makes it easier for you to give away stuff, um, do it. But you're, you know, what I would say is this, instead of calling yourself selfish, how about this? How about saying, you know what? I am abundant. You guys, I hate to break it to you, but really clutter is just an abundance problem. You have so much, you have more than enough. How lucky are you to have more than enough? How lucky are you that you can share your abundance with people and still have enough for yourself, okay? So notice these things, you know? Yep. Um, Denise is asking about my glasses. I, they're pair, P-A-I-R. They have the little magneto things on them. I use it mainly for my sunglasses, okay? Um, Mm-hmm. And Terry has started with my clothes. Going to take a while. It is. Everybody, things take a while. Yeah. TV and commercials that want to sell you some quick rich scheme, you know, get rich quick scheme, they are going to be like, oh, overnight, 20 pounds lost, blah, blah, blah. We all want a quick fix. I know I do. I just want my body to be in, in shape and strong. Yeah, I got to go down the wall. I got to go walk down to the place. Got to lift some weights. Got to get uncomfortable. Got to ache some more. Got to show up again, do it. Ache some. Go up, show up again. Lather, rinse, repeat. At the end, you know, it's how things are. All right? Too many clothes. All right? Thanks to you, I'm doing it. No, thank Well, you know what? I, I am the voice of encouragement. But I am. But you know what? The only reason you're doing what you're doing is because what I'm saying is resonating with you and your co-pilot. I show up as like the maybe a spark, but you're the one who's turning the key and getting into gear and doing it. I can get you all fired up, but if you don't get into gear, there's something about you that is either moving forward or staying stalled. And it's up to you to just sit there and figure it out what's keeping you stuck. Because as soon as you figure out what keeps you stuck, then you can do something to change that. But if you say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, this is just how I am, closed mind, a mindset, this is how it is. It's totally new, like my, my New England people. Nope, it's just how it is. This is how it is. I remember thinking that way when I was like 15, 12, 10 years old. Well, I guess this is how it is. And then it was. Until it wasn't. Until I changed it. Okay? Yeah. Everybody. So many guys. I will, I will just share this with you all. People who have clutter problems with clothing, 
you have so many friends out there in this community that are the same way. You do. There are many reasons, both personal and external, why we, many of us, struggle with our clothing and the quantity and quality and the shape and the size. I could write a dissertation on it. But what I say is you're not alone. Your body is changing. My body is a different shape than it's ever been. I don't think it's ever going to be the shape it was. It might if I take so much work to get it done. I don't know if I want to work that hard. I also don't want to, you know, they, they, so I, I, I want to love my body how it is and not compare it to somebody else, including who I used to be. I want to be wearing clothes that I feel comfortable in, both physically and when I look in the mirror. I wore a top yesterday. I thought I looked cute, and I saw a picture of myself. I was like, holy Moses, I look like I gained 40 pounds, you know? Um, Susan Garcia says, I always think a personal assistant could be helpful. Just listening to you is helpful. You know why? Because this is activating someplace in your brain who is craving this kind of, you know, engagement. What I'm saying, if it resonates with you, there's something in you that says, yes, more, please. Yes, this is helpful. Now, this is why I show up. I do a TikTok live. At this point, I'm doing a TikTok live pretty much every day, except for when I travel. The schedule is not the same. The time of day is not the same. I like to keep it loose. I like to keep it flexible. If you want to know when I do these TikTok lives, you get on my mailing list. It's free. It's wicked easy. DestinationDeclutter.com slash join or just scroll down to the bottom of the page. And, you know, uh, I find, I, I tell you there's a schedule there. All right. I can encourage you. I am here to encourage you. But after I sign off in like eight minutes, then it's up to you. And I say this in a good way. I say this in an encouraging way. Here's some courage. I am encouraging you. You can do this. You are worth doing this. You deserve to feel better in your home. You deserve to feel better in your head. You deserve to feel better in your heart. You deserve to feel better in your gut. You deserve to feel good in your body, in your nervous system, in your mind, in your kitchen, in your car, in your home, in your relationships, okay? You deserve this. What if you just walked around today and said to myself, I deserve to feel good. I'm gonna pay attention to what doesn't make me feel good and I'm gonna do something about it, okay? So notice a thought in your head. That's why I show up and none of these are are scripted. I just say things the way they come out today because sometimes the words will hit you differently. Somebody says something, I say something slightly different on a different day and man, does it does it resonate? So I say this as an encouragement. What's going to change the way you think about your clutter? About instead of I have to do this because somebody else expects me to be my house be clean, to about hi, I want to freaking live in a nice a house that feels good. Yeah, okay. So user 329900, you are so good for being a caregiver 24 seven and you lost both your parents, but don't mentally and physically exhaust yourself, okay? You're not doing, you're not benefiting anybody by doing that. Take care of yourself first. You wouldn't let your car run out of gas and just keep on trying to drive it. I'm pointing my car into my driveway. This is why I'm like, my car, I would not let it run out of gas. I would film, I would pull over and say, I can't go any further. I need to pull over and fill up my tank. I also need to make sure everything's in good working condition. I also need to resolve if anything is ticking underneath or if I feel like my tires are running low, okay? Do not, even if you have been now, I want to be the voice of love for you. Do not exhaust yourself. Mentally, physically, emotionally, it's not worth it. Save some for yourself. Keep some gas in your tank and then replenish your tank. I know this when I go to go take care of my mother. I need to get away and replenish my tank. I know when I'm done. I need to go and I'll stay with my friends or I'll just go up to the bedroom or I'll drive home or whatever and I need to replenish myself. It does take energy out of you Take care of yourself, okay? Take care of yourself.
and decluttering and creating boundaries about what comes into your life and what comes into your house and what you let go is taking care of yourself. Oh, moi, nice to see you. Parents had nice and expensive furniture items. Always thought, keep it because it won't have money to buy the items. Yeah, now it's time to say bye-bye. Many thanks. Take a bow. Take a bow. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Some folks won't care for themselves. I exhausted myself with them. Yeah, you, you, you got to take care of yourself. And if you're, you keep on dry, <laughs> pouring water down an open drain, you're just going to keep on doing that until they decide to fix their own drain. Mm -hmm. Now, I love this. Soaring Butterfly says, it feels good. It feels good. That's why I do this. Like when I tell yourself to feel better, it feels good to free up space, whether it's going to the dump or donating. Yes, it feels good. It feels freeing. It feels light. Taking care of yourself makes you feel good. Okay. Sometimes we get in a position where we're a caretaker from somebody, but you've got to take care of yourself first. And also, hopefully you have a community around you. Here I am reminding you, I don't even know you, and I'm like, you know what? Take a break. Back off. Get some help. Get other people involved in the caretaking. Now, I live states away from my mom, who's in her 80s, but I take care of her in my own way. I go up there. Not in the summer because it's been wicked hot and she only has one air conditioner. But I will go up there and help her physically. I also text her all week. I also help with her bills. I also do a lot of stuff in the background that I don't have to be there physically to help her with. But I also take care of myself at the same time. And I know that when I don't take care of myself, I show up crappier for other people. When I'm feeling crappy, I do crappy. So I try to make sure that I feel good. And I say this to you with only three minutes left of this TikTok Live. What are you going to do today? And not a judgment, just a curiosity. Write these things down. What can you do today to make yourself feel better? What would make you feel good when you go to bed tonight and you're laying there and you're not scrolling on TikTok? <laughs> you say to yourself, okay, what did I do today to make my, to, to, that makes me feel good about what I did today? And notice I pause because everybody's, everybody's um, answer is going to be different. And notice that the quiet that we don't often get in this chaotic society, in the quiet, we can hear ourselves think. And then you listen to the answer that comes up for you. You know? Um, yeah. Yep. Cat Mama and Vivi, I'm so glad you're, you're helping each other with that. Yeah, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Yeah, my mother, I'm not going to declutter... I can declutter for her, but she's not going to change, and that's okay. All right? Okie okay, teacher, wish me luck. I'm going over to my mother's house to start decluttering her house. Okay. Now, okie okay, teacher, I am sending you luck. And what I want to help you with is this. Having been there, I don't know if she's alive. If she is, it's going to be more difficult than if she's not there. Well, you know, it can be difficult. Declutter with her. Don't declutter at her. It will just save a lot of grief in the future. Trust me, I do this. <laughs> Moi says, Beth, should you ever start a cult? You have your first member in me. Appreciate your wisdom. Okay. She is 87. Yeah, my mom just turned 83. No, shit. She's 80. Yeah, she's 80. Yeah, she's 83. Yep. Um, tie myself in this mess pile. Okay, do that. Yeah. And decluttering my home. I love it. So here's the thing to be really clear because I only have a minute left. I never want to be responsible for a cult. Okay. So this is why I always encourage you to, I come and I inspire you. I want you to take this message. I want you to take what I say to heart, the stuff that resonates with you. I want you to bring it with you and I want you to go do the stuff for you. It's not for me. I, am no, I have no interest in being the, 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 you know, the top of any kind of pyramid scheme. I show up as a collaborator on this planet to help you because when I do better, I do better. I reach out to you. When you do better, you're going to do better for yourself and for other people. So the best thing you can do is to live the best life that you want. To declutter your home and life of the shit you don't want anymore. And then stop stuff that's shitty from happening and from coming in. And then enjoy every sandwich. I, in the past three months, have had three people that have been close to me pass away. They never even reached age 60. 
it's going to keep on happening. I hope, I pray that they felt good about their lives before they died, but nobody knows when they're going to go. I don't, but I feel pretty damn good about my life. Okay. So funny. I just got a reminder of my strength training class. All right. I'll be there. Um, I leave this with you to encourage you to live, live, live before you die, die, die. What are some things you want to do before you're not on the planet? Write that shit down and make it happen. Okay. And you deserve to live a life you love. Okay. Um, yes. And I know you're totally joking about the cult thing, but I want to be clear. Do not rely on me. If you're only decluttering when I show up, I want you to practice. De I want you to show up for yourself. Like you would show up for me if I was doing a TikTok live. Okay. You would show up and you would hang out with me. I want you to show up and hang out with you. Okay. Now I could do another TikTok live for another hour or so, but I know I have to go put on my workout clothes. Got to go see my husband. There we go. All right. Charlie horse working on it every day. Every day I'm shuffling. Yeah, I want to live my best life. That's why I have to do what I have to do. Yes, but how about this? Terry, do something today that makes you feel like in that moment you're living your best life. No matter how small, no matter how big. Okay? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do working out. and I'm going to probably, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to do today. The great thing is, is I don't have to declutter because my, life, my house is so good. Okay? I want you to have a good time. I do TikTok lives. If you want to know when they, sh what they are, Sign up for my mailing list, destinationdecluttered.com. Uh, scroll down to the bottom, put in your email. You're good. We have a Zoom call coming up. And my name is Beth, Destination Decluttered. Um, I don't know, like my TikTok page as I sign off here, okay? I'll see you later. Bye.